by transcription. You're twice as sure with two great names, Frigidaire and General Motors. Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. Your price is sure with two great names. Frigidaire and General Motors. For Frigidaire is made only by General Motors. And it is this association of experience with experience, of skill with skill, that makes Frigidaire America's favorite refrigerator. Remember this when you choose your new refrigerator. Remember that millions of Frigidaires in millions of American kitchens have established Frigidaire's reputation for complete dependability, for lasting satisfaction. Yes, you're twice as sure with two great names. For Frigidaire is made only by General Motors. No one else can make a Frigidaire. And now Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as Ken Thurston, the man called X. Ken Thurston, care of the Bureau. Yes, sir. Imperative, you come to Algeria immediately. My assistant, Benali... Yasaf will meet you at Nadig. In old Roman ruins here, have found the thing we talked of once in Casablanca. Believe the peace of the entire world may be threatened if this thing falls into the wrong hands. If you fail to find me, then look for Dialer. And it's signed Dr. Webb. Well, Chief? Well, what's he mean, Ken? thing we talked of once in Casablanca. It's something he was planning to look for in Algeria after the war. He was in British Army Intelligence then, but he had been an archaeologist. Yes, but what the Sam Hill could be buried in an old Roman ruin that had threatened the peace of the world? I don't know, Chief. But Webb thinks it was plenty important for him to find the thing before anybody else did. Ken, I know Webb's a friend of yours, but I don't see how this affects us, the Bureau. Chief, a lot of the food for all France comes out of Algeria. Yes, Ken, you're right. With Europe starving and this country trying to help feed them, no time to have any supply of food cut off. Ah. And one thing we don't need in this shaky world is another hot spot like, well, like Palestine. But, Ken, Algeria, that sounds pretty far-fetched. Sure it does. Sounded the same way in 1914, about a little town in Serbia. But in the next four years, because of that town, over 100,000 Americans died. Chief, I'm going to Algeria. No more than a day and a half since I sent you the message from Ayn Sefra. Truly, thirst and offender, you have come with the speed of the wind. Is uh, Dr. Webb here in Nadi? No, Effendi. Our camp is on the desert by the old ruins of Timbuk, ten kilometers from town. I have camels waiting to take us there. Good. Then let's get started. Oh, you are a man of quick decision. I believe Dr. Webb counts on that. Come with me, Effendi. Oh, I say there, this is a bit of a surprise. Huh? Thought I heard a plane come in. Hope you'll pardon my barging in. Bit unusual, you know, two foreigners in Nardig. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. My name's Ken Thurston. Uh, Llewellyn, George Llewellyn. Happy to know you, old boy. Over from London? No, from the States. An American, I say, you are a long way from home. Well, we both are. Oh, well, I live up in Algiers. I run an export business. I say, suppose we crack open a bottle of something. Nothing else to do here, you know. I'd like to, but uh, we're just leaving for the Timbuk ruins. Oh, now, really, can't do that. It's nearly dark. Man might run into this, this Arab bandit who's been prowling around. What's his name? Colom Bechar. Colom Bechar. You uh, seem to have heard of the man yourself. Oh, even the vultures have heard of him. But you are mistaken in two things, Effendi. Oh, really? What do you mean? Colom Bechar is not an Arab. He is a Kabyle from the hill country. Oh. Nor is he a bandit. He is something... A great deal worse. Oh, 
now, son of a thousand devils. This here way stop, brother of a turtle. Fall now, up! Thurston Effendi, we have arrived. Yeah. Yeah, something's gone wrong at this camp, yourself. Look at that tent. Why, yes, the ropes are cut. It lies upon the ground. My word, appears somebody's really made a mess of things around here. Uh, Dr. Webb? Dr. Webb? Never mind, Mr. Llewellyn. Webb won't answer. Oh, I say. Hold the flashlight, yes, sir. Oh, I say. Wheresoever a man may be, death shall overtake him, though he hide in lofty towers. Mechtub, it is written. Only in Webb's case, it was written on his back with a bronze knife. Ever seen one like this before? Yes, Thurston Effendi. Such knives are made by the people of the hill country, the Kabyle. That's what I thought. Seen them in bazaars in Tangier and Tunis. Wicked-looking little instrument. By the way, yourself, you... You're not an Arab, are you? No, Effendi. I am a Kabyle. Pardon, monsieur. <laughs> you please not to move? Oh, I say, now, really, this is too much. Do not move in the name of the Republic. So that's it. Oh, the Foreign Legion. Now, Capitaine, all is well. I have them covered. Now, go, gentlemen. I order you hold and decease in the name of the great white father in Paris. Pagan Zelschman, on now. Whatever is going on has got to stop him. Mid- <sighs> Mr. Thurston. Nice uniform, Pagan. Where'd you steal it? But I didn't. I only bar... <clears throat> Detachment, retire ten paces and look for clues or something. No, we won't, Capitaine. I shall keep everyone covered. That's a cheerful prospect. Mr. Thurston, you got to help me shake this little character. He thinks I'm a captain, and he not only follows me around like a bloodhound, he's also a nuisance. Well, why don't you let him be captain a while? Why, because I, uh, because I say, maybe I could. He's very stupid. Hey, you, look, I want to talk to you. Well, yourself, with Dr. Webb gone, I'd better try to find Dalla now. Dalla? Oh, the name seems to be familiar. Uh, it seems I've heard of a dancer by that name. Girl of an Algiers. Dalla, I find it. She's the most beautiful girl in North Africa. Well, maybe I ought to go to Algiers. Good idea. And if you have an extra seat in the plane, I'd like to go along with you. Okay. I'm ready, Mr. Thurston. Let's go to Algiers. Pagan, what in blazes did you do with your clothes? Oh, I sold them for ten francs. I told you he was stupid. Merci, Monsieur Zellschmidt. <laughs> I think of it. I am a captain with two uniforms. <laughs> ah, brave new world. Uh, and now, Mr. Thurston, if you would be so kind as to lend me one of your extra suits... What extra suits? Huh? You don't mean? Oh, no. Mr. Thurston, you can't let me go running around Algiers with nothing on but my ABCs. But, Mr. X, I'll be the laughing stock of Algiers walking the streets in a white nightgown. Hey, on all the natives wear things like that. Now, get on up to the Casbah, see if you can locate Dalla. When you find her, come back here to the hotel and let me know where she lives. You got it? Hanging clear down to the ground, stepping on a hem every ten feet and falling flat in my face. Well, you can stand around if you want until somebody recognizes you. In the Foreign Legion, they only shoot deserters. Huh? Mr. Rex, which way is the Casbah, huh? And so I walked on and on. Mr. X, up one dark sinister alley after another, mile after mile through the Kasbah, risking my life, facing terrible dangers on every side. Pagan, did you find Della? But I'm coming to Yes that. or no? Oh, I'm disillusioned. All the way back there, I, I kept thinking you would say, Pagan, you would say, you have risked your life in my service. Here, here is a thousand francs. Pagan, something's been turned loose around here that a pretty smart man thought might threaten the peace of the entire world. I haven't got a lot of time to waste. Did you find out where that girl lives? Huh? Oh, sure, I found out. Mr. Thurston, maybe I could have 200 francs. All huh? right, it's quicker than trying to bargain with you here. Then maybe only 100 and... Mr. X! You can faint later. Now, where is she? Where is she? Mr. X, come with me to the Casbah. <laughs> Just a moment, we continue with Frigidaire's Man Called X, created by J. Richard Kennedy. This is Wendell Niles speaking. Think for a moment how you would design a new electric range. Well, Frigidaire engineers asked for the opinion of hundreds of women just like you. 
That's how they were able to match your ideas so closely. Knowing you have an eye for beauty, they gave the new Frigidaire Electric Range modern free-flowing lines, gave it a finish of sparkling white porcelain and rich chrome, touched here and there with a golden gleam. They knew you wanted speed in your cooking. So this new Frigidaire Electric Range has radium tube units that start getting hot the instant you turn the switch. The big oven is so fast heating, it's up to baking temperature in just five and one half minutes. Yes, and Frigidaire engineers knew you'd welcome anything to make cooking easier. So just see all these work-saving features. A deep well cooker that cooks a complete meal. A broiler that's waist high to save souping. Automatic time and temperature controls. Most exciting of all, an automatic oven control that cooks an oven meal while you're away from home. Actually turns the oven on and later turns it off all by itself. Remember how Frigidaire engineers designed the new Frigidaire electric range to give you all the advantages you want. And remember, you're twice as sure with two great names. For Frigidaire is made only by General Motors. <laughs> Now to continue with Frigidaire's Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall. I am Dalla, Monsieur Furt. And before you comment on the unusual combination of brown skin with blue eyes, I might tell you my father was French, my mother a cabaye. Sit down, please. Thanks. Matter of fact, I was only going to say you are uh, you're very lovely. Merci. And... Uh, is that why you came to see me? It might have been if I'd known about it before. But let's just say Dr. Webb sent me. You mean, of course, while he was still alive. Hmm. News travels pretty fast in Algeria. You knew him then? I met him here in Algiers. It was sent to me by a friend. Did he tell you what he was looking for? Yes. And they found it. Would have been better off if he had not. Donna. It wouldn't by any chance be the seal of Bukail. The seal? Yeah. And he told me to come to you. You know a great deal, Monsieur Thurston. Perhaps too much. You have heard everything, Benali. Yes, mademoiselle. I have heard everything. Good evening, Mr. Thurston. Well, yourself, I thought I left you in Nardig. If the wind goes where it wishes, may not a man do the same. What is to be done, Benali? Do not forget he's a friend of Dr. Webb. There is only one course. In the morning, he shall be taken to the hill country. Maybe I'll make some choice about that myself, yourself. I have taken the liberty of making a choice for you already. Oh? It's Mila. Monsieur Thurston, we have known Benali Yesef as a driver of camels. It is well that you know now he is the chief of all the cabals. Out there in the hills, his word is the law for a million people. I'm beginning not to like this so good, Mr. X. At least 24 hours now we've been prisoners in this little room. What gives you the idea we're prisoners, Pagan? <laughs> if we're not, then why doesn't something happen? Isn't this Yusuf fellow the head boss of all those people? All right, then. Relax. If Yusuf's right, we won't have to wait very much longer now. Wait, wait. That, that's all you have been saying. Mr. Thurston, I think I'm going to scrum out of the job. Sure, go ahead. Of course, if you do manage to get out of these hills, you'll probably still be shot as a deserter. But I didn't join the Foreign Legion. <laughs> you see, I was on this boat and I got kicked. I mean, I disembarked very suddenly at Algiers. Then I, sto I, I borrowed that uniform and He's started out... He's a Thurston Effendi, just as I told you he would. He's out here in the Great Hall now. All right, yourself. Let's go. You have a gun, Effendi? Yeah. Straight ahead? Yes. Come with me. I say to you, the time is now. For a thousand years we have lain in the hills and waited, shivering before the air fires, led by old men with water in their veins. The time is now! Colombachar, one has come for you, Colombachar. Well, so the daring Monsieur Thurston has come to the hills, walked into the lion's den. Hello, Bichar. I'm taking you back to Algiers. So, you hear this man? 
He comes to take me a prisoner to Algiers. He comes to destroy your leader. Me, who will bear the seal of Bukail. What say you to that? And what do you say, Monsieur Thurston? I'm taking you back to Algiers, Bichar. Men of Kabyle. Men of Kabyle, silence. I am your chief. The light of your own council fires, you have made me so. And I say to you that Colombe Char lies. <laughs> he does not possess the seal and never will. His words bring only evil to the hills. Let no hand be raised to help him. This I command you. He is your prisoner, Mr. Thurston. Oh, what a highway. 60 miles an hour, this car hands like a billet table. How much far is the old years, Mr. Thurston? Oh, around 12 or 14 miles, big on. Maybe our friend Bechar knows exactly. Yes, I do. And I would suggest you slow down for this next curve. Ah, what for? It's a cinch. I can do it with one hand tied. Hey, there's a truck parked across the road. It's a roadblock. Jam on those brakes, Pagan. This is why I told you to slow down. Hey, look. A whole gang of stick-ups. The men with the rifles take their orders from me. I had no intention of going to Algiers. At least not under escort. I'll take your gun now, Monsieur Thurston. At ten to one odds, I'm not going to argue here. Merci, monsieur. Au revoir, Effendi. <laughs> not again. Please don't shoot me again. I'll pay you all my money, a hundred francs. All right, two hundred francs. Hey, go and come off under that dashboard and shut up. But I can't, Mr. X. I'm dead. They got me. Those shots would have smashed the carburetor. From here on, we walk. Let's go. But, but... It's only 14 miles to Algiers. Oh! Hello, Dalla. Ken. Monsieur Zeltwit. Nobody answered the door downstairs, so we came on up. Were you expecting somebody else? No. Ken, no. We... I heard someone on the stairs. I did not know who it was. Oh, I see. Yourself turned Colum Besha over to us. He escaped while we were bringing him in. Yes, I know. That's why we lost no time coming here. One thing we can't do is to let Bechar get a hold of the seal. The man who holds the seal of Bukail can command the Kabyles to his wishes, Ken. Yeah. Yes, it's the old symbol of unity in the hill tribes, isn't it? Lost since the days of the Roman conquest. Until Dr. Webb dug it up. They still believe in it, Ken. They would still follow the seal. The selfish, greedy ones, at least. The others, they would be drawn in. Yeah. Then civil war, death, disease, starvation here, and famine in France. And that's what Colomb Bechar was planning. That's why he murdered Dr. Webb. Yes, Ken. Yes. All right, Bechar, come out of there with your hands up. You're covered. The situation seems to be reversed again, Monsieur Thurston. Permanently this time. Can I try to think of some way to tell you he was hiding here? Yeah, I got the idea. All right, search him, Pagan. Well, I'll be only too glad. Oh, no, you don't. Look out, Dalla. If you shoot, you'll kill her. I'm getting out of here. Let me go. You haven't got a chance? Let me go. All right, I will let you go. He knocked her out, Mr. X. Got away. Look, see anything under the window? I don't know. No? Uh, Nothing yet. No, it's all right, Dalla. Take it easy. Okay. Hey. Hey, there he goes, Mr. Thurston. What? What did I shoot? No, Pagan. He didn't get away. Was that? He's in there? Yes, yes, Della. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, don't go down and find the commanding officer. Tell him I'll talk to him later. Okay, Mr. Thurston. And say, what about that George Llewellyn guy, too? Oh, huh? he's just an old busybody with too much time on his hands. You mean, I, I mean that... On your way, Pago. How do you feel, Della? Oh, I... Oh, I don't know. Why'd you do it? Why'd you risk your life to get mixed up in this thing? Ken, I could not let Pecha have the seal. It is here, you know. Dr. Webb, he gave it to me. There was no one he could trust. He was afraid to keep it in camp. Yeah, I thought you had it. There wasn't any other reason for Webb telling me to find you. But there's more to it than that, Della. I told you my mother was a cabal, Ken. The hill people, they are my people. They have found a way of life that is good. They've learned to raise crops and sheep, to 
people sing in the village at night. Colombe Cha would have given them only the sound of war in place of that. I have heard those songs, Kim. Yes, so have I. You said the seal was here, Donna. Yes. I hid it here on the charcoal brazier. There. It holds too much power for any man to destroy it. Mm. Carved in obsidian, inlaid with gold. Huh. That's all there is to it. And a thing like that is the price of death. The price of peace is even higher, Ken, I think. What do you mean? Colombe was my brother. Donna. Uh, the price of peace. How many times will that price be paid? How often has the world said never again and solemnly written the words in the sand? And how many times has the world stood by while the storm blew the words away? Must they always be lost, forgotten? Are they being forgotten again, now? Frigid Air star Herbert Marshall will return in just a moment. The Man Called X is presented each week with the best wishes of your Frigidaire dealer. We invite you to come in and learn about the famous line of Frigidaire electric refrigerators, electric ranges, electric water heaters, home freezers, the new Frigidaire automatic washer, electric dryer, electric ironer, and a wide variety of refrigerating and air conditioning equipment for homes, farms, stores, offices, and factories. <laughs> Our Frigidaire star, Herbert Marshall. Thanks for being with us. Friends, there are millions of people in this world who need food. Men and women and children who must have food if they are to go on living. So let's all of us do all we can to help them by saving wheat and saving meat. Now, next week, our story is called Journey to Xenophon. And if you know where the island of Xenophon is... Well, you're way ahead of me. Anyway, we have a real thriller lined up for you, and uh, Leon Belasco, of course, will be along to complicate matters. So join us, won't you, when next I return as the man called X. Good night. Frigidaire's Man Called X is directed by Jack Johnstone with music composed and conducted by Johnny Green. Tonight's story was written by Les Crutchfield. So until next week, same time, same station, this is Wendell Niles speaking for Frigidaire made only by General Motors. All characters and incidents used on this program are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual persons or incidents is purely coincidental. The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, came to you by transcription and returns next week at this same time over these same Columbia stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.